So the ultimate oceanic race came to its conclusion um, as the 2017 edition of the Cape to Rio yacht race wrapped up with the last of the 24 boats making its final stop in Rio, Brazil. Now, Team Vulcan of South Africa made the country incredibly proud by taking third place after finishing the Atlantic Sea crossing on the 16th of January. To chat about the team's successful journey, incredibly successful journey, Vulcan crew member Francois Cuttel joins us this morning in studio. I'm going to shake your hand again, sir. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Unbelievable um, result. Yes, could you have done any better? Were you going for the win? Put it in perspective for us. Yeah, we were going for the win. Uh, you know, we had a very competitive team and yeah. a, in a, in a great boat. Uh, and we were certainly trying really hard for the win. It was probably one of the closest rear races that they've had. So we were seven hours off the pace wow. after 15 days of racing. So we, you know, we kept going right until the last minute, and uh, unfortunately, you know, we could only manage a third. But it's a very credible place. Credible, to say the least. What could you have done better? So you know, you always relive 15 days, and you say, <laughs> where can we save seven hours? Uh, I think uh, you know, in hindsight, you can look at wind shifts and say maybe we could have sailed slightly different course or something like that. But uh, I think the crew, uh, the crew dynamics, and the crew work were certainly exceptional. Uh, I don't think there's much more we could have improved on there. How do you get that dynamic? How do you find a balance within the crew? I'm sure just picking the team is, is part of the, the process there, but how, how do you kind of fare once you're out there and the heat is on and it has to be completely collaborative? How did the, the team gel in this year's event? So, you know, we were very lucky in that the, the crew was based upon a very successful team that had been sailing together for, for the last three years in South Africa. Uh, and we picked one or two uh, new So the ultimate uh, oceanic uh, team race to came to us. its conclusion uh, we got a lady um, as the 2017 the edition of the uh, Cape to Rio Yacht Race wrapped up with the last of the 24 boats making its final stop circuit. in Rio, so Brazil. Local Our team talent, Vulcan uh, of South Africa made the country incredibly uh, proud by um, taking and it third like place really after finishing the Atlantic Sea Crossing on the 16th of January to chat about the team's successful journey here in this country. Look back over your incredible member Francois those moments that joins us this morning. How studio. important I'm shake your hand again, sir. to get those results? I mean, the Thank funding that goes into these, these sorts of events, um, that, that alone yes, could you have done any better? Were you going for the win? You've, you've got to be able to get the exposure. Yeah, but we were as, as a racer yourself, uh, what do you, you think know, this means for SA Yachting? Uh, certainly, uh, funding is a huge part of it. Uh, and and, and we're really happy that Line of Africa Insurance came on board. It was probably one of the closest races that they had. So we were seven hours off the pace. But it's nice to see a South African team up on the podium finish of this iconic South African race. We kept going right until the last minute. This is one of Last year, you know, or last edition, a third ago. It's a very credible Unfortunately, there wasn't it's a South African to say team the on the least. podium. What could no, you have done better? We have better. a South African team on so, the podium. So, you know, you always really look to build this days and, and, and say, where can we save seven hours? Of the, of the uh, I think, in the uh, you know, are you speaking to yourself in and your team or another team? We haven't discounted the opportunity of doing that. But I think the crew, the crew dynamics, I'm sure it's still sinking in. But what an unbelievable achievement! Look at that. I'm sure you must love that sight when you head back to it. Congratulations, of picking the team is, is part of the, well, the process there. But how, how do you kind of fear once you're out there and the stuff. Well, hopefully that's got you inspired to be on um, um, your the, feel the good team in this year's event. So, show this so, morning. We're going to you know, keep we the inspiration in coming the, thick the and fast. Performances are and more, but we'll see you off the break. together for for the last three years in South Africa. And we picked one or two new team members to join us. We got a lady in from the US. A uh, professional bow lady and a professional South African navigator who works on the international circuit. So we had local talent uh, augmented by some international uh, crew members. Um, and it sounds like the team really did pull their weight in every regard. What do you think this means for South African yachting, for racing here in this country? If you look back over your incredible career, for those moments that have inspired you, how important is it to get those results? I mean, the funding that goes into these, these sorts of events, that, that alone requires um, some momentum. You've got to be able to get the exposure. But as, as a racer yourself, what do you think this means for SA Yachting? Yeah, certainly, funding is a huge part of it. And, and we're very happy that Lion of Africa Insurance came on board and helped us out with well it. Done, and certainly. Yeah part of, of, of the great campaign. Uh, but it's nice to see a South African team up on the podium finish of this iconic South African race. This is one of the top races in the world last year, or last edition three years ago. Unfortunately, there wasn't a South African team on the podium. Now we have a South African team on the podium. 
and I think we should be looking to build this and, yeah. and, and take uh, take ownership of the of the winning place in the next race. Are you speaking to yourself and your team or another team? Well, uh, <laughs> I mean, we, know, we haven't discounted the opportunity of doing it again. Uh, I would love to see you fly that flag, but Francois, I, I'm sure it's still sinking in, but what an unbelievable achievement. Look at that. Uh, I'm sure you must love that sight when you head back, yeah. but um, congratulations. And please pass our congratulations onto your team as well. An unbelievable achievement. Thank you very much. I will do. Oh, beautiful stuff. Well, hopefully that's got you inspired on um, your feel-good breakfast show this morning. We're going to keep the inspiration coming thick and fast, performances and more, but we'll see you after the break.